Hey what's up Isaac here for Prime Odd and Even and today I'm going to show you why PoE is the best game for your wallet. The rules to this game are simple, just spin the roulette wheel and if the ball lands on any prime number, you double your money. Uh, you don't need to worry if you land on a prime number the first time because you have a second chance to redeem yourself. Try landing on an odd number now and depending on whether you got an odd or an even number first, you can decuple or quadruple your money respectively. If you happen to be unlucky, just pay up a small fee to the dealer and try again. I guarantee you the prizes at the end will overshadow any cost to play. If you still don't believe me, check out what others have to say about PoE. Playing Prime Odd and Even has helped me in so many different ways. I am able to make over a thousand dollars in one day. Thanks to PoE, I can finally pay off my student debt. Thanks, PoE. Who wouldn't want to make $1,000 in one sitting? PoE isn't a game you just play by yourself. You can play with your friends and family, and you all play as one. Since there's only one way the ball lands, you all play together. And if you all win, hooray. You all lose, well, you lose together. If anything, they'll just be mad at the dealer. PoE's design makes me and my wallet feel safe. I don't always lose in PoE, but when I do, I always have a second chance. To the casinos. PoE has an expected value of negative 0.085 cents, which means that most likely, most of the time, the casino is making more money than the gambler. And this is very important for the casino because you want to be making money and not losing money. And yet, it's not that negative that the gambler would notice that they're losing a lot of money. It's so small that it goes unnoticed. Personally, I've played this game uh, 20 times just to test out whether I would win as a gambler or whether the casino would win. And out of my 20 games, uh, I won $40. When I thought back to it, I actually lost more money than I made because the cost of playing is $5. And when you subtract, uh, 100 from the 40, you're left with negative 60. So I lost $60 playing this game. Although it looks like I won $40 in the end, I actually lost $60. Now let's talk about probability. So like I stated in the commercial, the probability of the gambler initially winning $10 is 33%. And 66% of the time, they either don't hit a prime number and have to move on to the second step which is trying to get an odd number next. Say for example the gambler won the $10 initially from the first roll. They don't necessarily win $10, they win $5. You see, because the cost to play this game is $5. So any prize the gambler receives, you always have to deduct the $5 it costs them to play. Say the gambler doesn't get a prime number and he gets either an odd or an even number. From then on, the gambler has a 5% chance of winning the grand prize, which is $50 and a 10% chance of winning $20. In total, that's a 15% chance of winning, and there's an 85% chance of them losing and having to pay an additional fee of $5. PoE standard deviation is $13.59, which means from the expected value of, 80, of 0 0.85 cents, the prizes the gambler ranges are $13.59 above it or below it. Having multiple wheels or machines will result in more people playing and more money for you, the casino. If people played PoE 10,000 times uh, in one day, you would make uh, $850 in that day. 10,000 games in a day seems like a lot, but considering that I played 20 games in less than 5 minutes, I think that with more people, I could possibly reach the goal of 10,000 games in a day easily. If PoE was active for a month, the casino will make $25,000 in that month. And for a year, it would make $306,000 for that year. Overall, PoE is a short, fun, and addicting game, which will surely bring a lot of profit in the long term. Bingo.